vanquish. Sam, how's the view on your monitor? Looking good. The scenery's a little bland, though. All right. Let's proceed with functionality testing. We're starting with electro-optical targeting systems calibration. Sam, I'm going to display a virtual target. Try to follow it visually. If things seem backwards, let me know and I'll adjust the optical nerve sensors. You know, this is a real pain in the ass. How many times are you guys gonna make me do this? It's important we have baselines, Gideon. Just because you can read a manual doesn't mean you know what you're doing. True. You know I know what I'm doing, so let's do something different. What's on today's test schedule? Look, I know you're in a rush to get to the bar, but we've got a lot to go over. Passing full control to you now. Go ahead and give us some basic rotational movement readings. functioning nominally we're going to get readings on boost limitation engage whenever you want overheating that's maximum practical output on our current reactor design the suit's cooling system can't keep up with that output level it's causing some temporary performance loss, especially in the skeletal actuators. I'm losing like 30% mobility here. 30% is within our project goals. Elena, let's move on before Frank reads us the project grant, chapter and verse. <sighs> <laughs> Firing systems. Proceed with test. Affirmative. Launching virtual target. We're going to adjust target acquisition. Recoil compensators are on and functioning normally. You can't suppress the recoil anymore? <sighs> Sam, your weapon isn't exactly stock. I know. I'm changing blade modes. Let's try firing something different. We're still working on expanding the number of configurations stored in memory. You can't just scan whatever you want and have it work. That being said, go ahead and activate the scanner. This thing is even picking up surface scratches. Blade can only replicate what already exists, even the imperfections. Now we're going to check the grenade mounts.
need to get some data on how far we can push the actuators. I'm releasing an object to test your impact force. Our friends at the Pentagon were happy to lend us a brand new piece of equipment. Electromagnetic armor. Punch it as much as you'd like, Sam. Confirming electromagnetic reaction. Sam, give the electromagnetic engine generating the reaction force a second to cool. So we can't hit the thing too quick, huh? Go ahead and punch it again. Nothing beats the old one, too. <laughs> Looks like you've still got some bite in you, Sam. measurements we made of your brain's sympathetic nervous system and tuned the R's suit synaptic emitters to augment your reactions under fire. It doesn't really make walking around with electrodes all day any more comfortable. Small price to pay for having elevated synaptic activity during critical fight or flight situations. Will you two quit bickering like a couple of MIT grad students? Now let's proceed with our test of the R's functionality. Let me know when you're ready, Sam. Okay. I finished implementing the manual trigger system you asked for. The system will automatically lock if it detects any life-threatening imbalances in your hormonal levels due to extended use. Very well. I think that's enough for today's test. Good job, Sam. That little workout made me hungry. Elena, you up for some luckies?
the Order of the Russian Star now welcomes you to the inauguration of a new Russian state. My order is now the only authority in Russia. In ten hours, we exercise our newfound strength once again. There is but one way to prevent the destruction of New York City. Your complete and unconditional surrender. My fellow Americans, today has been a day of great tragedy. San Francisco will never be the same. And the toll of our war has increased by countless men, women, and children. Their loss is deeply felt by every American. To those who have committed this heinous act, we say firmly, we will not negotiate with those who wish to destroy us. Our strength is unmatched. Our will resolute. We will be victorious. God bless you all. And God bless the United States of America. SCO-1 Providence is currently under the control of those responsible for the coup in Moscow. We believe the operation is being led by a red known as Zaitsev. Oh yeah. This is Sam. DARPA sent him to come along with us. Men, we've got eight hours to stop New York from becoming the next San Francisco. Make no mistake, we will stop that from happening. Sam, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but your new friends don't seem too fond of you. DARPA operatives take their orders directly from POTUS and SECDEF. These guys are just interested in marking their territory. Sam, remember why we're here. Just listen to me. The American government has been betrayed by one of its own. You two are the only ones I can trust with this information. The Russian military is planning on using the microwave energy array to attack the U.S. As its designer, I cannot abide this misuse for such a heinous purpose. You know what must be done. We'll get the professor back. This place, hell, even this suit runs on his energy designs. He's too valuable to kill. I know. This the toy you've been working on? <laughs> Not even scratched. You did get some training in this thing, right? Our simulators are very thorough. They did quite a number on you, huh? We could use you as a test subject at DARPA. smoke on the ship.
arrivals plaza for landing bay three is up ahead. We've got heavy fighting in the plaza. Bravo, move forward, but maintain cover. Roger that. Guess it's time for the real thing. Your suit is performing at nominal levels, Sam. Never had a girl say that to me before. 